Sabrina Watson is the only child of the wealthy Watson family. Her mother, Claudine, and her father, Greg Watson, live in Martha's Vineyard. The film starts off with Sabrina and Bobby on the phone with a mistress, and he is having an affair. She asks God to help her again get out of this situation, and she promises, again, not to have another one-night stand with anyone and only have sex with her future husband. One day, she accidentally hits Jason Taylor when driving and doesn't see him. She gets out to offer and overreacts. Jason forgives her and takes up a night of dinner with her. Five months later, after going out, Sabrina tells Jason about her job offer in China and asks him to still be with her in a long-distance relationship, but Jason declines. She walks off sad and soon hears a musical group singing, and Jason comes back and asks her to marry him, which she accepts. Sabrina's mother is running the wedding. She has doubts, but trusts her daughter. After the couple talk to Reverend James, they decide to stay while a driver picks up Jason's family and friends. Jason's group is his insecure mother, Pam, his charming uncle, Willie Earl, Pam's best friend, Shonda, and Jason's cousin, Malcolm. Also appearing is Sabrina's aunt, Geneva. Now their first meeting is awkward as everyone seems to dislike each other and they make small rude remarks. Pam becomes annoyed by Sabrina's acts of kindness and counts three strikes already against her. Sabrina talks to her friends during the cocktail party, one of them being her maid of honor, Blythe. While Blythe goes to get more wine, she meets Chef McKenna and both instantly feel a connection. Shonda also meets Sabrina's cousin, Sebastian, who is instantly drawn to her. Shonda is attracted to him as well, but she feels uncomfortable because she thinks he's too young for her. During the dinner at night, Pam gives a rude blessing and has a fight with Claudine, but this is stopped by Greg. Claudine also says, in French, that she thinks Greg is having an affair with his associate Amanda. While outside, Pam listens in on Geneva and Claudine fighting and finds out that Geneva is actually Sabrina's mother and gave Sabrina to Claudine and Greg after she was born. During the bachelor party, Sabrina and Jason have a fight about his mother wanting them to be jumping the broom. Malcolm talks to Jason and complains and asks why he isn't the best man. Jason tells him that they haven't been best friends in years and Malcolm has only been there to ask for money. When Jason leaves and tries to apologize to Sabrina, Chef McKenna is busy kissing Blythe and doesn't notice the food which begins to burn, which sets off the alarm. Sabrina closes the door on him, but they make up through text. However, they have doubts about the wedding. In the morning, everything begins normally. The boys have a friendly game of football, though Pam tries to tell Jason about Claudine and Geneva's secret. Blythe also talks to McKenna about the relationship. McKenna tells her that he thinks she is beautiful and a relationship is still an option. While Pam is getting fitted for her dress, she tries to comfort Sabrina about the secret, but is interrupted when Jason gets hurt when pushed by Malcolm. Pam tells Sabrina to ask her parents, who are her real parents? Claudine and Geneva tell the truth, which hurts Sabrina and causes her to drive off and cancel the wedding. Please, stop, Sabrina! Sabrina! Jason confronts his mother and tells her he is a grown man and to stop treating him like a little boy. Jason tells everyone to look for Sabrina and also punches Malcolm. Jason prays to God to help him. Geneva is called by Sabrina, who is at the docks in a boat. Geneva gives the story of Sabrina's father. He was a man in Paris whom she loved and planned to travel the world with, but she soon found out he had a wife and a child, and she returned home alone and pregnant. Jason meets back with Sabrina, and the two reconcile. Sabrina goes back home to dress. She gets a broom and a note from Pam saying she is returning home and is sorry. She chases down Pam and asks her to stay. They forgive each other, and Pam agrees to stay. Jason and Sabrina have the wedding and also jump the broom. After the wedding, Sebastian kisses Shonda, finally winning her affections 
and presumably begins a relationship. Greg and Claudine reconcile, and she reveals that she has secret funds and that they are still wealthy. Malcolm and Amy, the wedding planner, start sharing a moment together in which she asks if he wants to dance with her, and he accepts. At the end, the whole family happily does the Cupid Shuffle. I'm gonna show you the honeysuckle.